Nothing. So, things have a creator. Everything you see, you see a producer, a designer, a creator. So in our understanding as well, that this universe cannot just simply come from nothing. Yeah, I see. And therefore we say, in our understanding, the God we define as all-powerful, all-seeing, all-hearing. Mm -hmm. And he created this, everything designed and purpose. So therefore also he has given us a purpose. So the whole point to us, to test us. So okay. in Islam we believe this life is a test. And that was, that was given in the scriptures. And God sent like Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. What and comes after this life? If it's a so basically in Islamic stand we believe that this life is a test and God will resurrect everyone bodily and will ask question about how did you, you know, what about your prayer? Did you show gratitude to the God for the things you have received? How did you earn money? How did you spend money? Mm -hmm. How did you spend your youth? And all the details question about your life, everything will be questioned. And then after the questioning, you know, God has shown mercy to many people. And we believe he's, he has, you know, he has, he's Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. So his judgment will have mercy. And after the judgment, people will go to the heaven and hellfire based on the deed and action and the belief they had. So we believe in Islam that every children or everyone born knowing there is one maker, which is fitra in Arabic. Our Prophet Muhammad Wasallam told us that everyone born knowing there is a maker. It is their society, friends, family and external forces who take, their, take them away from the original nature. So I believe whoever following the atheism or any other way apart from believing truly to God, mm -hmm. it is not their choice sometimes, it is also the external, external influences convince them. But at the same time, we are also guilty because God given us intellect, we have rational reasoning. So that's why every human soul will be questioned on the day of judgment. And Allah constantly reminded the Quran, I have given you eyes, I have given you vision, I have given you intellect so that perhaps you show gratitude. At the same intellect will be questioned on the day of judgment. So therefore, God, if you say, oh, I didn't believe in God because I didn't have external tools, but God given you internal tools within yourself to make you accountable. So therefore, whenever we appreciate, whenever we receive anything, whenever we drink, we feel it couldn't shower thirst. As a Muslim, I say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. So this is a form of gratitude. So as a human being, whenever we receive all those things, we've been told to show gratitude to the Creator. So if you not believe, you're guilty? Yes. If you believe, you're not guilty based on the information you have received. Imagine if you live in an Amazon jungle and yeah. there no message has been reached to you. You will be accountable on the Day of Judgment. God will question you. But if, imagine if someone comes to you, explain to you clearly, yes. and you have the chance to read, and God knows how much information you have received, based on whatever you have received, He will make you accountable. That's why, this is one of the conditions, that's why God will judge everyone. So I cannot judge you, neither you can judge me, you see. So as a Muslim, I am not able, allowed to judge anyone. Mm -hmm. Rather, I need to share the message. We believe the guidance is belong to God, and no one can guide no one but we can share information and Doesn't convey the message. That the belief is not in me, but is, comes from external information I get that I believe. So no, we, we believe in two ways. So you have internally already received through the fitrah, which is the innate disposition. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you have these intellectual faculties of reasoning, thinking good and bad, right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And just like if you apply your rational reasoning within this argument I have given you in the Quran, were they created by nothing or are they the creator of themselves? So we apply this rational faculty to connect with whether is there something. So it's the process of elimination. So if you take the impossible option out, you will leave with the, the final conclusion, which is the possibility. Okay. And then we have the Quran final part is God communicated the purpose of our life through um, the Quran. And, and previously, God sent messengers to different nations and tribes 
so that they can be guided okay. about totality of our life and guidance. Any other question? No. <laughs> what if you do harm to people? Sorry. Where you live? Well, if this life's a test and you did harm to anyone else, yeah. what does that mean? So harming, harming in generally, of course, is wrong. And God tell us um, that uh, in every Friday we hear from Qutbah sermon uh, from Imam Imam saying, "Allah ya amru bil adli wal ihsan." Allah instructs you to do good. Now, every time... But what is good? Good is defined by God. Right? What is good and what is bad. Mm -hmm. Right? For example, if you look at um, early 1900, uh, in this country, homosexuality was allowed. Not allowed. Mm -hmm. Now it's allowed. Right? Yes. So, we people have changed the decision of law-giving on their hand. But we say the ultimate governor or the lawgiver is God because who, who knows totality of our mind and how he created us. He knows what our soul whisper. He knows how we program and what we do in our life. Mm -hmm. So based on that, God defines what is good and what is bad. But you can intellectually convince with the idea that whatever God, God is saying, it's going with my sound, reasonable mind. Like, for example, God saying, do not do injustice. Like, let me tell you a, a greatest uh, verse of justice. In the Quran, Allah mentioned, do just, be just, even if it is go against yourself, against your parents, against your kith and kin, and do not change your, uh, uh, or do not distort your testimony for your fleeting gain. Right? Mm -hmm. So, the creator of the heavens and the earth not just created us, he given us a guidance and he told us what is good and what is bad. So we have allowable and a prohibition. So our worship is encompassed of two things, allowable and prohibition. God told us to do good stuff and stay away from immoral activities. Mm -hmm. Do not kill a soul. If you kill a soul, as if you kill entire humanity. If you save a soul, as if you save entire humanity. Mm -hmm. So look at the profound message of justice, morality, and ultimate goodness. And Adil, one of the attributes of uh, of Adil is the justice of Allah and Allah saying I I have given the universe in justice means he created everything in balance and proportionate and what, mean, what if I believe in another God and not so uh, depend on what type of God like uh, would you define what type of God you are believing in like hypothetically any other God in the Christian whatever. Mm -hmm. So what we say is God communicated message to human soul that everyone know there is only one maker. So when you attribute God to with human, with the creation, so what we say God is unlike the creation. So anything you see in the creation that are not God. So if someone's come to me and worshiping cow, I don't have to concentrate on what he is doing. I simply know cow is not a God because it is temporal. And God is eternal, mm -hmm. is dependent on food. God is not dependent on food. So very simple, basic elimination process, you will know who the true God is. And that's why in Islam, we call something called shirk, association in partnering with God. And this is one of the gravest sin in the planet, that if you take the rights of God and giving it to something else. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Would you like to take a copy of the Quran? No, thank you. I hope. Do you have any questions? Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. Look, look, look it up. You know, yes. it's a beautiful message. You know, because we, we also say this, that this life, after this, we'll have judgment as well. And just after judgment, you have heaven and hellfire. So the belief comes with consequences. And, you know, you are in rush, but I'll, I'll, otherwise I would have given you some more information about the proof of Islam why Islam is the truth. Yeah, but it's, it, I think it's a little bit different, difficult for me to understand because yeah. um, um, you say, and as I believe, there's one creator, it's okay for me to, to say there's one creator, there must be a kind of yeah. um, creator. And it's difficult for me to understand why we have five world religions and everyone says to me there's one creator and they fight against each other. That's difficult for me to understand and I don't I, know I, which I, kind of religion should I... So, in this. So, so it's very simple. 
what we need to do is a process of elimination. I would ask you to look into all five of them together and look at what is the concept of God in Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and all others. God given you intellect, just like I said, apply your rational reasoning, which one make more sense. And based on your understand, you look at the Quran, read about Bible, read at the Quran, see which one is from God, which belief make more sense, which ones give ultimately totality of the understanding. Then you can make your decision. That's what I'm look. Did I not give you a rational idea? I didn't just say, okay, just look into Islam and accept. No, I said you can look it up. Because look, if you go to a shopping mall and you want to buy a jacket, you don't you don't just buy it straight away. You investigate it. Everything we investigate in our life. And what about our life, which is eternal life, we are considering. So we need to care about our life and the belief and give some investigation, you know, in your best ability. Anyway, it was nice talking to you. Okay. Look after yourself. Thank you. Atheist, um, they they have few questions in the beginning, but I, I hope they uh, taken the message of Islam. Um, although they they are in rush as well, so I hope uh, you know may Allah may Allah guide them to Islam. Make dua, salam <laughs> Thank you.